Hello friends! Homemade power banks are quite relevant, despite the fact that they can be bought in China. You can find variations of any capacity in a wide price range, beginning from $1. But it's always fun to do something yourself. I found a suitable scheme in the net. It's a step-up DC-DC converter. Despite the simplicity, here is stabilized output voltage, a small leakage at idle, high output current and high efficiency. The scheme is realized on the basis of a simple oscillator. It's universal solution as a boost converter for charging any portable digital devices. The inverter can fit from one battery of 1.5 volt or lithium battery of 3.7 volt. Oscillator is made on the basis of the field effect transistor, although can be used bipolar one. The transformer is actually a choke with two windings. The primary call is power, the secondary is defining. Energy conversion occurs similarly as in any inverter. Closing of the field effect transistor causes surge of self-induction in the choke. These wave rectifying diode and smoothed by electrolytic capacitor. This self-induction electromotive force can be much higher than the supply voltage, depending on the coil. Stabilization of the output voltage is performed simply and efficiently. If the output voltage exceeds the Zener voltage, it will open, and then will open low-power transistor VT2. Through open collector emitter, the gate of field effect transistor is short-circulated to the ground, and it's closed for the time until the output voltage drops below the desired level. Then Zener again closes, and the FAT will continue to work. This process is in reality occurs 1000 times per second. Let's go to the component's choice. Diode any high speed. Better shot key diode with the current above 1 ampere. I put UF4007. The low power transistor any of inverse conductivity. For example, KT315. The choke ferrite can have shape of ring, rod or dumbbells. I use dumbbells. Ideally, there should be a certain ratio of turns. I reel up both coils simultaneously with the same number of turns, 25. Primary winding consists of a free wire with diameter of 0.3 mm. Secondary consists of one wire of same diameter. Using multimeter, find the ends of the windings. For example, I show process with ring. The start of primary winding connects to the end of secondary. It forms the middle point. MOSFET is selected with minimum gate threshold voltage. The lower it is, the lower may the supply voltage. I used MOSFET from old motherboard in TO252 package and gate threshold voltage is 1.25 volt. If powered by 1.5 or 2 volt, the idle current within 5 or 8 milliampere. When powered by a lithium battery, it grows up to 15-20 milliampere, but also grows efficiency. Stabilization works correctly. I used 3.3 volt Zener diode, and the output voltage varies from 5 to 5.5 volt. It is enough to charge virtually all modern portable devices. I recommend using lithium batteries with protection against voltage reduction, as converter will extort from it all, until the voltage drops to 1 or 2 volts. But deep discharge is very bad for their long lives. When assembling, I used conventional parts and surface mount components, so the board is compact. On the video, you can find links with project archive and other useful links. Thanks for watching. With you was Kasyan. Have a nice day.